you can kind of just jump and come around like that. So jump round. Hey, Brainy Spinach Squad. Welcome again to my channel. If you're new here, I am Brainy Spinach. I'm a math tutor who teaches children math on Roblox. Today, we're here to play some fun games on Roblox. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and let's jump right in. So we're going to start off in a game that I've been enjoying a lot with my students recently. It's Math Difficulty Chart Obby. Um, it's quite a new game. I know it's created last year, but it's only really started to become big in the past few months or so. And I'm actually an official tester on Discord. Uh, he's added me as a tester and uh, yeah, I, I give him all of my opinions of what, it, what the game needs, what the game needs to change and my students as well, because obviously that's very useful. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's have a go. Thank you very much Perfectly Squared for creating such a good game. I mean, honestly, I really like this. It's, uh, it's basically an obby. Um, and it gets harder and harder and harder and asks questions at each stage. But yeah, let's go. Here we are, Matthew Theo. He's got the cool shop. I gotta say, this is an amazing shop. I love the design. He's got a little dude saying all the jokes. He's got streak saves, got hints, got game passes. Donations. Speaking of donations, I believe I'm on the board still. There you go. Yeah, number six. Hello there. I was like number two or number three. That's the creator of the Math Obby, the original Math Obby, um, the one that gave me a lot of inspiration there. Um, there's Perfectly Squared himself, the creator. I don't know why he's turning to his own game, but, you know, whatever. Um, and there's me. 1,500 Robux so far. I try to give a bit of Robux every time I use it in a class, basically. It's almost like my thank you for it being something I can have in one of the classes to play with my students. But yeah, I've restarted it. I think I got to stage 63 before, roughly. But at that point, I was really struggling with the obby stages. They start off easy, but they get harder. Uh, okay, first question, four add five. Now, um, I'm gonna try where I can, because some of these, some of these, I, I'll just know straight away. Like I know straight away that that is nine. But of course, it would be nice to maybe show how I would work it out if I didn't know the answer. So I'll do what I can. But yeah, for now, four add five. Um, I could put five in my head. So I start with five and then just go six, seven, eight, nine. So I've added four fingers on. So five add four is nine. I started with the bigger number in the sum to make it easier. Hey, there we go. Eight minus three. Okay, so I'm gonna put eight in my head again. I'm gonna count backwards by three. So seven, six, five. Five is one of the answers. Nice. Great start by me. I've got a streak of two. Nine take away one. So just counting backwards by one. So nine in my head. Count backwards by one. That's eight. What shape has one less side than a pentagon? Ah. So thankfully, quite, quite nicely, he's included an image of a pentagon. A pentagon is a five-sided shape. So you've got one, two, three, four and five. So if a pentagon has five sides, he wants to know what shape has one less side than a pentagon. So what shape has four? Uh, a triangle has three. A pentagon is the one we have that's five. A hexagon has six. So it must be the square and a square does have four. Nice. Go on, King Bean, you got this one. You got this one. Yeah, King Bean got it too. Well done, King Bean. Hey, I completed grade zero. Very nice. Not that impressive, to be honest. Maybe it's not that impressive to a lot of people. But I tell you what, if anyone completes grade zero, I think that's impressive. Because that means over the however many years it took, even if it just took you like a week or a month when you were younger, or it took many, many years for you to get that far, you still got there you've still got some great maths in your head that you have managed to do. So I think that is impressive. Well done to you if you get to grade zero as well. And if you don't, don't you worry, you will eventually. Just to let you know, Brainy Spinach Squad, I host Roblox maths classes for kids aged five to 12 every week over on brainyspinach.com. I help them learn to love maths and see if it's something to look forward to by taking them through my games and others, including Doors, My Restaurant, Bed Wars, and yeah, so many more. <laughs> so in the Roblox classes section you see here at my website, you'll find all of the classes that I run throughout the week. Uh, so if you or anyone you know is interested, enroll today and let's have fun learning together. Just remember you'll need your parents to sign up for you. 
Is addition commutative? Um, oh, free hint. In other words, does the order of the numbers not matter when adding? So what they're asking is, for example, so if, if it's three add two, um, is it the same as two add three? Uh, which in this case, yes, it is. Addition is commutative. You can switch round if, if it's two numbers are being added together or indeed more than that. You can put them in any order you like um, and they'll still equal the same amount. Nice. This is a war wrap. Don't get discouraged though. It's easier than it looks. Ah, yes. Yeah. So can kind of just ease the way around or if, if there was no gap there, you can kind of just jump come around like that. So jump around. Um, people might find it easier than if they know, if, uh, most people know, but um, especially if you're on mobile, it's not always as obvious, but there's this thing called shift lock in Roblox. You press shift on the keyboard and it basically locks your character to be looking wherever the mouse is looking. So you can do that rather than having to kind of do a weird thing where you're trying to get the right angle. You can do like that. 66 in word form is 60. Six, yeah, 60, because it's six tens of 60, and then six. Oh, this obby won't be easy. Try and find a shortcut to avoid wasting your time. Ah. So, I mean, I could go all the way down, but I could just jump. Nice. One hundreds, four tens, and four ones forms what number? So, one, four, one. One hundred, four tens, and four ones. Ah. Okay, so I'll get rid of that one, and I'll put a four. So four ones, four tens, 100. Nice. Which expression is equal to five add eight? Five add eight. Well, it should be eight is five because addition is commutative. So a lot of my students and fans are budding artists and I'm always very impressed with what they come up with outside of our maths lessons. Um, I love their imagination and talent. Uh, so what I thought I could do was start a little brainy spinny student art wall behind me. Um, and so you'll get to see all of the creations that they come up with one by one uh, in my videos. Now, every artist that I actually show during one of my videos, I will send 100 Robux to after I have published the YouTube video. Um, so if you haven't already, join the Brainy Spinach Maths Roblox group uh, so I can actually send you the Robux that you win uh, if I show your piece of art. If you'd like to take part, then please get in touch on Discord or Facebook or uh, email me on hello at brainyspinach.com. Just make sure you have your parents' permissions first. <laughs> so for today's piece of art, I have this one right here. You can see they've taken one of the images from my website, brainyspinach.com, and you've got a little brain, oh, other, way, other side. <laughs> you've got the little brainy spinach logo here as the green dude, the green brainy dude. And then I believe that's the little Roblox, uh, Roblox me, just there, just there. With B, oh gosh, I'm so bad at pointing at these. <laughs> B and S for brainy spinach. So yeah, and a lovely blue background as well. I mean, blue is my favorite color. So yeah, a lovely piece of art. Uh, I'm gonna go stick that on the wall. There you go. Thanks very much. 21 add 11 take away 14. Okay, so I could use my fingers for parts of this. I could I could go 21 add 11, so 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and then add another one, 32. But then it starts to get a little bit more complicated, a little bit more complicated. So what you could do is put 21 here, so a number or a digit in each grid plus 11. Put some lines here. So I'm going to put O for ones and T for tens. And then I'm going to do one add one is two in the ones column. And then two add one is three in the tens column. So 21 add 11 is 32. But that's not all of it because then I've got to take away 14. So we've got 32 take away 14 once I've done that bit there. So I'll come back to this. I'll put 32 take away 14. 
And without going into lots of detail, I'm going to have to do a little bit of exchanging for this one. So I'll put the O and the T for the ones and the tens. So I can't do two takeaway four without it going into the negatives. So I am going to borrow a ten. So I'm going to instead of have three, I'm going to have two tens there, and I'm going to give a ten to the ones. So now instead of two takeaway four, I've got twelve takeaway four. Twelve takeaway four is eight. Two takeaway one, eighteen. So the answer should be 18 and it is there. There we go. Oh, ah, you got me. <laughs> I need to quickly to jump off. There you go. And stage 20. So seven add nine, seven add nine is 16. So I've done nine in my head and then add a seven and then add the 10. So I'm just going to think of this as well. 16 has one 10. I'm going to add another 10. It's going to be two in the tens and six in the ones. So that's 26. Hey! Nice. And I've completed grade one. Check that out. So I think we'll finish up there. It only gets harder from here. Hmm, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Well done to any of you that have managed to get to grade two so far. Uh, let me know how you've been finding it. Let me know how you've been finding this game if you've been giving it a go as well. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna carry on this game in other videos as well. So you know, uh, if you'd like to see more of this, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see you play another maths game, doesn't have to have maths in the name. It could just be something with lots of maths in. Uh, my restaurant, Retail Tycoon Two, my supermarket. Um, loads of games out there with lots and lots and lots of maths so you know let me know what you'd like to see me play that's it for today uh, if you enjoyed please consider giving it a like or subscribing and if you're interested in joining in on any of my classes then have a look at the link down in the description below my classes take place every wednesday and saturday and we have a lot of fun there playing games just like this and more so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye